heavyweight clash between John Jones and Francis Ngannou. All right, so we get another look tonight at the heavyweight contender, the Predator Francis Ngannou. He got a dose of humble pie from Stipe Miocic in his first UFC heavyweight championship fight, but prevailing wisdom is that eventually Ngannou is going to be able to get back into that type of situation and fare better. He has worked very hard on the cardio at the UFC's Performance Institute, and he believes we will see that improved work beginning in this contender's matchup tonight. This guy has one punch knockout power, and when a fighter has that kind of ability, it's always a big advantage. to show for it, the future Hall of Famer and former UFC light heavyweight champion, Johnny Bones Jones. No fighter, no champion in UFC history has had a more difficult strength of schedule. John Jones dominant every step of the way. His future undeniably is in the UFC Hall of Fame. John Jones, in my opinion, is the very best at utilizing his reach advantage. If you watch John's fights, he is the very best at keeping fighters where he can hit them, but they can't hit him. And if they get close enough to get a hold of him, he has some incredible wrestling talent to go with that striking. for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Lavey. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, 3 losses. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Francis, the Predator! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right now. All right, here we go. Well, what a sight it is to see the Predator Francis Ngannou back inside the octagon. He is in the physical shape of his life. Oh! Here's a nice inside leg kick. Hard straight punch. Lands a kick to the leg. How about that shin? Oh, side kick. Well timed there. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Quick uppercut. 
left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. Well, he's got a strong jab. Miss with it there, though, Joe. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Caught him with a punch. John looking for the takedown. Now he's pretty deep. Oh, that's nasty. There's a tremendous amount of pressure on that arm. He may have to tap. And he gets out. I thought he was going to have to tap. Wow. Full guard. Now he's in half guard. And back to full guard. Got him in the full guard here, and he's landing some brutal strikes. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. He's looking to take the back. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. Tags him. Oh, how about the multiple strikes landing here? That is a serious offensive barrage. And Ganu gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, tags him with that uppercut, Joe. These guys are swinging. Oh! It's a lot of minutes to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Clean punch. Oh, he is just teeing off here. Oh. Oh, straight right. Oh, stunning jab. Oh, oh, oh. He's in big, big trouble. Oh. These are some bombs he is throwing. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, that's the end of five minutes. That's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, and that thing is only getting worse. Pretty nasty gash at this point in time. You know he's gonna need some sutures after the fact. The focus right now, though, keeping his head in the game. Don't think about the cut. You gotta think about getting your offense going and shoring up that defense to prevent that cut from getting any worse. Control him now. Take control of it. Move forward. When he sets on you, take him down. And then just keep mixing it up. Give me those kicks too, baby. Give me those kicks too. Brittany Palmer in the building. Here we go with round two. Oh! He is clearly in big, big trouble. There's a nice inside leg kick. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Oh, and he eats a shot. He's got him hurt here. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with... Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, that's it! Huge uppercut for the win. Yeah, Joe, I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and... That's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. This is the one that causes the knockdown and the subsequent follow-up strikes for the knockout. Look at this. And he's out. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, five seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout, Francis the Predator.
All right, so Francis Ngannou is all the rage with fight fans coming in, and his fan base will continue to swell after this performance tonight. The frame is only getting stronger, skills only getting sharper, and his confidence is only getting higher. Francis Ngannou is the real deal, folks.